Great music, 24 hours a day. The Mighty Coral Snake. And I think on the other end of the line, I should have our good friend Gary McIntosh. Hi, Gary. You, you do, Nick? Hello, mate. How are you? Yeah, not bad, thank you. Excellent, excellent. With me is Rob Sutton. You know Rob, of course? Yeah, we know me and Rob have been talking quite a lot lately and uh, got some gigs coming up, haven't we, Rob, soon? We do indeed. And uh, yeah, it's been a busy one for you. New Year. Uh, yeah. Some gigs in the line. And in fact, I'm going to come straight off the bat um, because I've got a message for you. Gary. All right. Straight away. This doesn't happen often for our interviews, but I've actually got one for once. Uh, say hello to Gary from Disinfo. Some big riffs coming to Blackpool on the 27th. We'll try not to set fire to anything. <laughs> that was from Felix. What, what a lad. Uh, just, yeah. just remind yeah, Felix we... of that on the night, Gary. Cause... Yeah, we will remind <laughs> Felix of that as well. <laughs> Definitely do. So um, mm. obviously you've got the one on the, the 29th coming up. Who have you got playing that one again? Uh, we have uh, Virtue in Vain. Disinfo, or as you like to guys to call them, like Dis- Disco Inferno. <laughs> um, then we have um, Ovidium, uh, Diathorns, and uh, Perilla. Stacked lineup right there. So, yeah. Uh, when is that one again? 20th. The 27th. Uh, yeah, and it's a cheeky little three quid, isn't it? Yeah. It's a so I'm just, I'm three just pound. <laughs> Pulling everything up. Um, so you've obviously started doing the promotional pin in Blackpool. How has that built from your first gig to where you are now going into a new year? Um, it's been quite well. We've um, we've kind of people have wanting to do things with me. Um, James James Bennett from the Owen Six One has been in touch with me saying about maybe doing a couple of gigs together and stuff. So like we're trying to like branch out a little bit. So we're trying to keep our portfolio open to like other promoters coming to help us. We'll help them out kind of thing. You scratch my back, I scratch yours kind of. Mm. Absolutely. That, to me, that's the best way to be is it's all kind of working as, as one community. We, we've worked with just about everyone, at least somewhere at some point. We've got so many names on our GoFest poster now. It's mad, but it, it's yeah, the way well. to go. <laughs> it definitely is. Um, so when you come into looking at booking bands, what are you looking for from a band? Um, I normally look at where they've been playing um, mainly and then kind of look at videos from that gig to see kind of how their crowd reactions are as well as like the crowd they're going to bring in kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, that, make, that makes perfect sense. I mean, one, one for me when, uh, when we're, we're looking at, at bands is going to be what their social media presence is because even if you're from out of town, uh, it's sometimes difficult to you know you're all the way up in blackpool for example for us we've never played yeah. blackpool before um so if we were bringing someone from blackpool down here we'd want to see what their social media presence is like how much they're going to push the gig to other people in the area and maybe bring yeah. sort of the odd one or two is that something else you're, you're looking for yeah that's what i'm also looking for like a lot of bands like who i've had on lately like the last the last four months um we've like kind of, people a lot of people have put like a lot on social media as well um i've even like had like um other people like a lot of people sharing stuff for us which is amazing thing for us like getting the word out there for us yeah absolutely and, and that that's what it's all about uh because i mean there wasn't much of a scene in blackpool there was the odd handful of gigs before you you started doing yours uh as i said yeah. in the last one i think it was the waterloo and i think there was one other yeah um but there wasn't that many they came around once in a blue moon and it's a really nice is it a town or city town town yeah there you go. You see, I'm learning something new. It's got a tower, though. Big tower. <laughs> That's got a very big tower. It's got a very big tower. You know, I think there needs to be a metal gig on top of it. Top of the, top of the tower. Well, yeah, but we could, could try and get a metal gig at the top of the tower. That'd be great. It's either that on the, or on the pier. So, so Gary, we, we get the chance on the show to talk to a lot of bands and a lot of people close to the scene. And, and promoters are such a hard-working group of people. What, what was your background? What, what got you into doing this, Gary? Um, I was in I was in a couple of bands over the year, like in my teens and stuff like that. Um, but I was also like roadieing out with bands as well. So like I was helping bands out with like the gear and everything. Um, and then I um, eventually stopped being in bands um, around about the 2019 area. No, sorry, the 20, uh, no 2009 area. Sorry. Um, and it was just kind of like, what do I do now? I've always loved my music and stuff like that. Um, So I decided from there, I decided to go branch into it, um, but on an afternoon on a small scale, I was working in a music shop, which is no longer there, which is a a disappointment because it was a lovely place to work. Um, And we used to put bands on on a Saturday afternoon just to 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 kind of bring 
a crowd in the shop to try and pe- entice people to buy more things, really. Yeah, so music's been part of your life for a long time by the sound of it then. That's been yeah. something that, and you just you just need to find a role and something that's going to keep you engaged and involved in it. Yeah, it is, yeah. And what else can we expect for the rest of the year? What are you, what are you particularly looking forward to, Gary? Um, I'm looking forward to uh, your gig next month. Uh, I wasn't fishing, but now you've said it. Thank yeah, as are yeah, 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 we, yeah. mate, as are we. <laughs> I'm not saying anything yeah, um, in March. I've got I've I've got Rob's band on in in March as well, like Rob's just said. Um, and I I'm also looking my, the main gig really I'm looking forward to this year is um, Footprints in the Custard oh, in yeah. April. Yeah, 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 mega. That'll be massive. And you just made me think of something though. A Thrasher Tui gig in Blackpool is is a match made in heaven because Blackpool is surely the home of inflatable whatevers yeah we we should have a lot of inflatables there should be no shortage of inflatables for for your night rob we don't need to stock up we can just go there and, and stock up the other thing which i realized this was completely not planned at all but we're doing a run of two gigs that that weekend uh so we've got friday we're with yourself at the talbot uh and then saturday we're in uh, the star and garter in manchester and it turns out that on both those gigs viral strain are playing as well so uh, oh, right. <laughs> apparently we're doing a double a double tour a double day tour with them. Um, it's a tour. It's official. <laughs> it is. It is. So uh, to the viral strain, lads. Hi, poor you. You got to put up with us. So Gary, you've, you've you've wet your feet with this work for a while now. What's what's the best thing about what you do, and what's the worst thing about what you do? Um, the best thing is just helping bands out and getting like their names out there as well as my own. Um, but the worst thing I would say is people saying they're going to attend and then don't turn up. Mm-hmm. It, it, it is kind of annoying that, but, um, you know, it's one of those, life does get in the way every now and again. I, I know yeah. I've, done it. I've done it loads of times. I said, I'm going to go to this gig and then, I don't know, something pops up and you're like, ah, oh, damn, can't quite do it. Um, but yeah, what, what do you think is, I mean, for me, it's trying to get people through the door is the hardest thing. Um, yeah, it is, yeah. It, it is so difficult. What ways do you go about trying to get people in that maybe are a bit different? Um, I just try and book different styles of bands. So like, it's like kind of if it's not if it's all the same, like people start getting bored of it and everything. And um, that's what you don't want. You want people to keep coming back and back and back to like kind of do to see more bands. Absolutely agree. There is something that you've done that I've noticed as well. Um, I've noticed a lot of competitions recently. Yeah, we we thought about I thought about this like when I was like just starting off. And uh, I thought, well, if we do competitions, at least then I'm offering some free tickets out. Bands are offering merch. People think if they aren't in that competition, they don't win. And they go, all oh, right, OK, well, we didn't win the, the the free tickets. We'll buy a ticket kind of thing. It kind of entices people to come more. That's the thing. Yeah. I mean, you know, this this gig on the 27th is, is three pounds. You know, it's yeah. it, in this day and age, that's that's really, really cheap for a gig. Um, so, you know, everyone's got a little spare three quid. It's it's actually less than a pint these days i don't yeah. know what the the beer prices are by the way where you are um blackpool mm. Bob, come on it's going to be proper value pint in blackpool i'm gonna be amazed if it's not i don't know there are some places that do two quid a pint what, what, tell me if i'm wrong gary what are we talking uh you talk in the towel that you're talking between like 250 to 350 maybe 380 for for a pint yeah Oh my words! Okay, yeah, that, that really is no excuse there. <laughs> I was going to say I've used like the most expensive one I've I've bought was in Birmingham. It's seven pound fifty for a pint. Um, that it, yeah, that's that's two tickets near that's over nearly over two tickets that I could have gone to a Blackpool show there. Yeah, it is. Um, so if for other people that are looking at, at going to your gigs, uh, one of the things which is is always quite difficult is parking, especially in larger towns and cities. Yeah. Um, what what is is the transport like for for where you are? There's um, there's the train train stations are in about a five minute walk away. Um, there actually is buses that run kind of near to where the Talbot is. The park inside of it, it's like um, it's not quite easy because it's more residential than anything. Right. Uh, okay. No, no. It's uh, it's always good because uh, you know some people have to drive. Um, you know, for us there isn't a direct train from here or public yeah. transport to to Blackpool. We we have to drive. Uh, but from Manchester, you will be able to. I believe you'll be able to get a, a bus there. Uh, yeah. Sorry, a train. Definitely. Yeah, train direct from Manchester to here. And I suppose the other thing is if uh, you know if you go down nice and early, you can enjoy a nice stroll along the beach. 
Yeah, if it's a nice day. If it's a nice day. Do you know what? I've just thought I think of it. the sun always signs in, in Blackpool, Rob. There's no well, problem there. Well, it's the northwest, so... <laughs> uh, I've just thought of a genius idea for you. You should go on the beach one day and just write all your info just on the sand and then just leave it and see how long it lasts. I think it's a, There's another idea for you. A <laughs> free program. Yeah. We should dispatch you for the next Rob rundown. Want the entire rundown written in the sand on Blackpool Beach then. Oh, just the entire of Macintosh promotion gigs for the yeah, next six yeah, months. Absolutely. <laughs> There's be plenty of them. <laughs> so, Gary, let's do a quick flight of fancy. You are the promoter who's putting on the last gig at the old marquee. You can put any lineup together you want. Go Ooh. for it. Who, who are we talking? Um, God. Headliner would have to definitely be Metallica, without uh-huh. a doubt. Um, but I'd also have to have, like, maybe. Steel Panther, which I'm going to see uh, this year as well, which is I'm really looking forward to. You did message me um, on that one, actually. Yeah, um, I don't know really. It's it's a it's a hard really thing to put my finger on it. Like, there's a lot of bands I would love to put on um, and stuff, but like for the amount of things that I've done over the years. Excellent. Well, listen, Gary, we wish you nothing but the best. We will be seeing you soon, mate. I'm, I'm really hoping Nikki and I can get up on the 27th. It's a, it's, yeah. a, it's an excellent life. It's only that horrible thing of work and timings and making sure we can do that. So I won't overpromise, but we're going to try our very hardest, mate. Yeah. Um, but kudos to you uh, for all the great work you do up there in Blackpool. Really wishing you a fantastic sort of season, Macintosh Productions. Can't wait to come up and rock with you, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah can't wait to do it either. We've got, uh, you, you, you've sent over a cheeky request as well. Yeah, I did, yeah. Uh, Plush, and uh, the song Champion. Uh, yeah. We're going to line up, it's going to be a different song first, because it's on, it'll be on If the we phone. were any sort of DJs, we'd be all over this, but we're not, Gary. So, <laughs> so we, we, we will fine. play it, but we can't play it next, because the technology has thwarted us momentarily. Uh, but oh, bef- that's fine, don't worry. Before we let you go, uh, what made you choose this song? Um, it's just a song I've been listening to a lot for the like, last, maybe four or five months um they're a band uh, from america um all female kind of thing um but their old drummer brooke um she was she used to do like video drum videos on youtube then she joined this band and then everything kind of i kept following kind of thing i was like these are quite good and they're a really top class band i would love to bring them to the uk well, fantastic. Well, we're having that in a moment, mate. But before yeah, no we problem. do, we'll put some Decatur on before. But Gary, an absolute pleasure talking to you this evening. Thanks for giving no up problem. some of your time, mate. No problem. All the very best to you, buddy. Yeah, Cheers for now. Same to you, guys. Cheers, Cheers. guys. Cheers.